Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am sharing a what we eat in a week video. I've gotten so many requests for this video and I'm finally getting around to filming it. It takes a while to film these because obviously you have to film every night for an entire week and some nights I forget so it's taken a little longer than a week. But I'm finally here. You'll probably hear the kids in the background and I'm in my room where it's quiet. Luke's watching the kids out there. He's been taking up more time from work to do more stuff around the homestead and help me with the business. So right now he's watching the kids for me so I can do some filming. But let's get right into this video. So on the first night we had sourdough biscuits and gravy with bacon. So I had already made some of my sourdough gluten-free biscuits just because I felt like it. I recently shared that recipe on my blog. I will link that blog post down below. It's our favorite biscuit recipe ever. But I had just randomly made some because I felt like it and then I decided why don't we have biscuits and gravy for dinner because once the biscuits are done it's super easy to make the gravy. So I actually chopped up a bunch of bacon and I fried it. I made the gravy in with the bacon. It was super delicious. We had it alongside raw milk. We, we normally try to have raw milk with a lot of our meals if we can. Try to have some raw milk every single day. We get about three gallons of raw milk every week and a half a gallon of cream for coffee. So we go through a lot of raw milk. On the second night, I fried up a whole bunch of ham steaks. We had a ham that hadn't been cured yet, so I just I just sliced it up in thin slices, and I put some seasonings on it and fried it up in lard. And then I fried some eggs to go along with, and we had it with some home fermented sauerkraut. I also chopped up a bunch of potatoes and fried that in my cast iron skillet. Crispy potatoes is one of our favorite sides. This is one of our more fast meals, fast food, I guess, considered. But it's just, I can whip it up just really fast. It's super nutritious and really easy for me to make on a night that's really busy. Now this one was a few nights later because I forgot to film for a couple nights. But this was the day after we butchered all of our steers that we've been raising over the summer. And we had a whole fresh, well we had several fresh hearts. But I took one of them and I sliced it up really thin and I fried it with salt and pepper and garlic powder. And fried all those slices up. Fresh heart is one of my favorite organ meats to eat. It's so healthy for you. We believe in the motto, like supports like. So if you're eating heart, then you're gonna be supporting your own heart's health. I also fried up some more crispy potatoes with some more seasonings on it besides just salt and pepper. This was a few nights later, so we didn't have potatoes two nights in a row. But as I said, potatoes are one of our favorite easy sides. We buy organic potatoes from Azure in a, a box of, I think it's 25 pounds, but we buy bulk potatoes at once of organic from Azure, so we have a lot to go through. The fourth meal is an egg quiche. This was a night where I had been gone all day with the kids. I think I had been at my mom's, but we got home and I was like, all right, what am I gonna make for dinner? So I took some of the leftover heart and I chopped it up really fine. I put it in a pan. I, I opened up a jar of my home canned green beans. I opened up a can of diced tomatoes and poured them all in there. I added the egg quiche mixture with milk and eggs scrambled up and salt and pepper and garlic powder and I poured it in there and I baked it and that was our dinner for that night. Quiche is super easy for me to whip up. It, it gets, it gets whipped up super fast. It's more of the cooking time that takes a while. On a day like that where I had been gone all day and then I, I got home and I just needed to whip something up and throw it in the oven while I dealt with the kids until dinner time, that was a really nice simple meal to make. And eggs are another one of our staples, just super healthy, full of choline and all kinds of different vitamins and minerals. And of course we had our daily raw milk. We each had our own cup. Then this fifth meal, this was actually one that Luke made. So we had all been sick for a few days. Luke got better first and he decided to make dinner for me, which was super sweet. He took some of our spaghetti squash that we grew in the garden and he cooked it in the Instant Pot. 
he fried some potatoes, he added some canned tomato sauce and diced tomatoes, I think. He also fried um, a package of bacon and sliced it all up and some ground pork. So it was kind of an everything meal. It had a lot of meats and protein and then the good squash that we grew ourselves. He also put quite a bit of pepper and a little bit of red pepper flakes. It was a little bit spicy, but all of us really like spice, even the kids. So it's actually a couple days later and I'm just trying to finish up this video. We've already made all the meals, but I just ran out of time um, to talk about what they were. That is the life of a YouTubing mother. There's just a lot of interruptions sometimes. So. The sixth meal was one that we made in the Instant Pot. We did some uh, duck legs. Luke had just butchered a couple of our drakes and he had the drumsticks and the thighs left. And so we threw four of those in the Instant Pot with some beets and carrots from our garden. And we actually did the Instant Pot on the slow cooking method, but it wasn't quite done in time for dinner. So we just did a quick 10 minute pressure cook and that got it the rest of the way cooked and tender. That was super delicious. We actually used, and this was Luke's idea, we used clove, ginger, and nutmeg, I think he used just the spices, and then salt and pepper. And it was actually super good. Then the last night was just a big leftover night. We had the leftovers from the night before. We took all that broth and whatever was left from the duck, the carrots and the beets, and then we fried some more duck breast and added in there. We added some spaghetti squash that was left over from a different meal. It made kind of a soup with all of that. And then we fried some sourdough flatbread to go on the side. So soup and bread, super delicious. I'll share my sourdough flatbread recipe down below. I have it on the blog. It's super easy and super delicious. It's a nice little treat. We don't have it every day. Try not to have a sourdough every single day. But when we do have grains, we try to make sure that they're fermented as sourdough or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we eat in a week. They're all usually really just simple meals. We eat a lot of animal products. Our diet is primarily animal based, but we found that's just what is works best for our health. We feel the best on it. We have a lot of energy eating this way. And it's just been really fun for me to learn how to prepare food more ancestrally and make food that's just really nourishing for my family. So I hope you guys just enjoyed seeing that and maybe gave you some ideas of what you could make for your dinners this week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.